we will need a hook, threads and needle and also scissors, probably everyone have it, all links would be in description below and uh, maybe a couple words about uh, um, the back, so it's a little bit rounded on the middle it will increase the space inside, you can put much more things inside also there are five buffs um, I just use uh, two colors of threads like one white and blue and like mix them together um, uh, also the really interesting part is attaching the zip which actually is sewing but sewing with needle which not for crocheting uh, or for like big threads but much for regular normal thread and it's how our back look on the side uh, and uh, how we attach our handle as there are actually a ring <laughs> inside and we just cover this ring with uh, the thread from handle and from back um, yeah cute one I really enjoy it it's <laughs> it's my love and the hook you see I took two threads, two yarn, and we'll start to do the chain with 70 loop on it. 1, 2, 69, 70. First row done. So the second row we will start doing with uh, one loop. You can do 71 loop in the chain or just start the second row with the loop, then turn the yarn to see here that uh, like normal side of our loops, then we turn it and we skip first loop and we put our hook here in this hole inside and making a single crochet first. And we will do 70 single crochet back. And now it will start the really interesting part. So first of all, we finish in 70 single crochet. It's regular normal single crochet. And then we will start to do new single crochet. I will say like this, but could we agree? I just will call them single crochet, but it mean really different. What I mean by this, all our next stitches will look like this. We wouldn't take just uh, just hole from this one. We wouldn't take just this hole. Our next hole will look like uh, this. You see, and through this both holes, we will take the thread and then make our single crochet and here it would be our new single crochet but uh, first of all uh, again I just finish in the third second row the third row we will start with slight stitch to do the slight stitch I will took it's like look like um, back side loop only you put hook here but as well you might took uh, the loop from other uh, from this like first row uh, here again I took just one and not the two of them and what I mean by this I don't oh sorry I don't put through both I just put through one side of them so here I have two and I might do slight stitch like it would be take the yarn and then slight stitch slight stitch done then I might do nine uh, single crochet. I will show again how to do um, our single crochet. Take this loop, only one side of the loop, one side, take one from again next one from this side, take the yard and then make a single crochet again the next loop loop here loop there 
take the loop through the holes and then it's second single crochet so we might do nine of them finished eight single crochet and now eight yeah now i need to do the nine one i will put my hook here and another loop take the yarn and then make a single crochet nine done then i might to do one increase how to do so the same scheme put our hook through two loops take the yarn first single crochet and in the same loop make our next single crochet it will be increase after increase i will do one single crochet the same scheme i just showing him again and again the same pattern because all way through making this bag we will do the same um, stitches so that's why it's really important and to yeah want to show you one single crochet done and then in the next loop we will do increase it means two single crochet in the same loop the first done and the second one so both increase done uh, then i will do one single crochet just for this row just start to make the next part and here i will use my stitch marker i use the different color of stitch marker if you prefer use the yarn or whatever instead of stitch marker is what you want but i will use one of these and um, put on the last loop we have done so it will be beginning of our next part but just put make this uh, single crochet and put the stitch marker then after making this single loop uh sorry single uh crochet one we might do uh, 42 single crochet or 43 single crochet including this one so just showing you how to do so again loop here loop there through those those two loops and then single crochet sorry my mistake not uh, 43 but 42 because here uh, we also make like skip one loop again on this end as the same as on this end so that's why that's why 42 so now i'm now i'm on 41 and i will just finish in this row with you it's still the third row sorry for really long explanation but at least i hope you enjoying it and now it's look more more normal look like bag i hope but we'll see so 42 then i might do increase i just explain what i'm doing and don't stop again on the details probably you already catch the logic increase then one single crochet oh sorry completely forgot uh one single crochet to increase here and i might put my stitch marker on the uh, 42 to the end of the row before increase you see here increase and here i put stitch marker on the uh, 40 um sorry 42 stitch so increase one single crochet um then again increase uh, one two increase and then i will do nine single crochet eight nine and then in the end the last stitch it will be slip stitch again through the both holes 
yeah i take the loop through both of them and then take this loop through a uh, loop i have here and our third row i finished it was really long it's take too much and it's look like this a little like triangle shape but it's good and i put different stitch marker here you will understand later why let's return to the point where we finish our previous row and we will start our first row i will put hook inside our loop so we just finishing with slight stitches here then we turn our crochet in this side you see and we will continue crochet the same sorry, uh, the same single crochet but again we skip first loop we put our hook inside like back side loop only one side of the loop then on another one again when we turn our crochet it was look like this and then you just turn a little bit more and you see this both uh, crochet and our first uh, loop in the row will be slip stitch here we are and then we do eight single crochet just one two eight single crochet and if you remember previous row we do increase at this point and uh, we done like we put a uh, two loop in one uh, loop let's call increase that's why uh, we will take this loop from the f our row where we're now going and take this loop from the row uh, previous row and the take uh, and do single crochet and took the next loop from row where we are now and took the same loop where we put the previous one um, so because of increase and then single crochet we do single crochet all way through but uh, we might be aware of uh, loops we are taking again then it would be like one single crochet we did that's why i take loop here loop there and main one single crochet and again here we done increase before our uh, orange marker uh, i might take loop here take um uh, sorry i have already done this loop from the previous row it's a wrong one take the loop from the previous row this one and make a single crochet and because of increase i will took this loop and take from the previous row the previous loop done single crochet so i ended with stitch marker i took a loop from stitch marker then the next loop from next row make a single crochet and take stitch marker to the loop we just have done here we are and then i will continue make the same uh, single crochet all row through uh, it would be a 42 single crochet including this one we already done 42 uh, single crochet in our row and reach our yellow market stitch marker so i already sorry i already took the loop from here and i took this one loop and then my stitch from yellow market i have taken this loop already and 
done take the marker out of this stitch and put in a stitch we just done and i will show you again how to deal with the increases if you remember before put the yellow market we did our increase so again i took increase put in this like oh sorry take this stitch from our row from the previous row and make a single crochet then took the next stitch from our row and put in the previous stitch from the previous row and make oh sorry again next stitch this one i just yeah i a little bit tired sorry uh then the similar single crochet just the stitches the different like next stitches in each row single crochet then again it was increase i do stitch from here next stitch there take my loop and make a single crochet and then i took second stitch the next stitch from our row and put it the same stitch from the previous row and then i will continue to do the same uh, single crochet um as usual again i repeat i call it just single crochet but it's not a single crochet but to make it simply to calling to don't waste time on naming i will call it a single crochet so after we did our so increasing part i will call it like this but it's not increasing part we make eight single crochet again and one slip stitch in the end we finish our first row you see now the yellow will start zero again we just finish on this side we turn our crochet and we will do um, the next fifth one row and we skip this one loop make a slight slip stitch on the first loop done then we will make six single crochet i've done eight single crochet again the same pattern we took our one loop here another loop here and do like single crochet increase and now we will do increase it means one single crochet like two single crochet in the same loop in the same loop uh, like two loops in our case i will do one more single crochet and then i will do two single crochet one and two and in the next of two loops this one and that one i will do increase one increase and another oh sorry just increase one single crochet and another it will be our one increase uh done and then i will take the regular single crochet here we are replace our stitch marker there oh no 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 here here and we'll do 42 single crochet all the way through you see this will be one loop from here one from here and do all the way through until the orange stitch marker and let's finish in our fifth row i take the loop from our marker um i done single crochet the last one and put our marker in a new place and then i will do increase here again through 
two loops increase then I will do two single crochet one two then I will do increase mm, take the two just one and another one and then I will do eight single crochet and here is how our fifth one row will look like the sixth one row again I will show you how to turn the yarn we turn it we put our thread on this side we turn it right here skip first loop put inside one loop another loop then turn up take our loop and making slight stitches so then we will do single crochet the same because we skip uh, the first uh, like skip the first loop and make it slight stitch we will make uh, the less than previous row but again probably I will show you again when we increase in previous row and we need to take like from the row we are going now one two loops and put them inside one loop from this row I will have done slip stitch then seven single crochet and now I will do the increase of this row so one done and then I take the loop from the row I am now and take the previous loop from the previous row here here we, are. we go through the um, increase then we do two single crochet one two and after that we will go through again one increase it will be this then take this loop and go through the same loop we going previously yeah we are done now repeat again through all the row of 42 single crochet then one increase here will be then one single crochet uh, two single crochet then uh, one increase again going two loops in one uh, two loops from this row one loop from that row and then seven single crochet and one slip stitch in the end we finish sixth row now we will start our seventh row uh, we will do slip stitch uh, seven single crochet one increase three single crochet one increase then 42 uh, single crochet and then reverse pattern here like increase three single crochet increase seven single crochet sorry slip stitch in the end so we done the row then because it's our orange end uh, we will do uh, just the slight slip stitch in the beginning and then uh, we will start to go through over the row till the till the yellow market side so just showing you how to do so but probably you already the expert in this things so and we remember all place where we put our increase in this part we need to uh, just take one uh, like two loops from our row and one loop from the previous row and now I get to the uh, our increase in the previous row and I will show you again just take loop from this row the loop from previous row and then take the next loop from our row and put in the previous one from the previous row and then continue crochet don't forget to remark then our next row to be where where we are now so and i intend to show you again how to make increase put one 
one from this row and then the next one from this row in the previous one and going through marker don't forget to move the marker to the next row we finish our eight rows it's look like this and now we will start our ninth one again you already know we will do slip stitch a 12 sorry 11 single crochet one increase and then 42 single crochet one increase 11 single crochet and slide stitch let's agree from the beginning that i will show just uh this part like yellow part and uh, the part from orange one you will do by yourself and actually the pattern would be the next one for our so next row i probably not can't count them right now but yeah mm, make it a little bit um better visible for you um from previous row we have like this i don't do any loops like this i don't do it uh, I just keep this loop and in the next one I will do slip stitch which is actually here and then I will do 11 single crochet but it's if you remember single crochet oh, would be look like this we take one loop from our current row from loop from a previous row and crochet and do 11 of them and 11 and in this point i will do my increase and actually take my loop oh sorry stitch marker out for now and it's mean in this like two loops i will put to single crochet so increase done i put my stitch marker here and then i continue crochet all the way through until my orange stitch marker or it's probably would be better to say just you crochet like single crochet without increasing or decreasing until this part and here um instead of like mm, yes you can use marker to identify where you need to do increase but to be 100 percent sure that is, this is the right place where you might to do your increase you just count the stitches so actually this stitch it would be our slip stitch this one then we might do 11 single crochet it would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and here in this one it would be in our increase but always check with like yourself that uh the same like from this part it might be the same pattern as we just did for this one right now uh we will do our like reverse row let's say it's like this so our row from <laughs> let's say from orange uh, uh no from yellow to orange would be our like first row and from orange to yellow it would be our reverse row or the second row for example and uh, what we will do in our second row let's say we will do the next one we will um make our increase count let's say it's like this but actually yeah let's start from the basics um what i need to do is uh, make a slip stitch again i uh, just um skipping the first loop put the next one two loops as we did previously here slip stitch and then we will do 10 single crochet until we reach our orange stitch marker our 10 stitch 
stitch and here we will do um just remove stitch marker and then i take a loop from row where we are now and take a loop from the previous row and make a single crochet and then i will put in next loop from my current row and put my hook in the previous loop from my previous row it's where it was our increase and to do it properly to finish this increase let's say so here in the second loop of our increase i will put stitch marker and then i continue crochet single crochet all the way through until yellow stitch marker so and now we'll do our next row as all rows the next row will start with slip stitch we skip in one loop and making a slip stitch in the end done and after that we will do uh, two single crochet let's do all of this together one two then i will do increase in the next loop oh. one and two take my yarn increase so we done slip stitch two single crochet one increase mm, increase done then we do six single crochet one two three four five six and here i will do um oh what's the noise increase take a stitch marker out one and two increase done put a stitch marker back in our second stitch from our increase and then continue single crochet and now our return row so it would be the last video i will film um, how to do our return row just to save your and my time let's say to don't skip it each time because i hope you already understood the logic um so let's do it the last time we will do slip stitch <laughs> Keeping first loop, doing slip stitch, then as we did uh, like six previous row, oh sorry, two here, I might do one instead because we skip first one, it would be one, and then I will do like the reverse increase. One. So our increase done, then we will do six single crochet. So one, two, th oh. three, four. five and six and where our orange stitch marker it will begin our next reverse increase so first single crochet of increase 
and this second single crochet to increase where we take loop from our next loop from our current row and previous loop from our previous row put stitch marker on this stitch and then continue crochet until our yellow part and doing the same reverse row our next row we turn our crochet and we will do slip stitch so skip this loop and make a slip stitch in the next one after that um, we will do one single crochet then we will do increase oh, sorry It's two single crochet in the same loop. Uh, <laughs> then we will do seven single crochet. Seven. Remove a stitch marker and do inc one increase. Put our stitch marker back and continue doing single crochet. High there again, next row, turning our crochet, and as usual, we will do skip, skip our first loop, and in the second, do a slip stitch. Then we will do increase in our next loop. It's two single crochet in the same loop. Then we will do eight single crochet. Eight. And here we will do our increase, remove a stitch marker, do our increase. And then continue crochet and repeat reverse pattern on another side as you already know then return doing our reverse row and see you again from this yellow side this row we will start with skipping the loop making a slip stitch oh as always slip stitch done uh, then we will do uh, nine single crochet and the nine one and then we will do our increase put a stitch marker back and continue crochet until our orange stitch marker uh, and then do an increase nine single crochet slip stitch then turn the crochet on the orange stitch marker we will do slip stitch eight single crochet return increase and do the same here return increase eight single crochet slip stitch and I see you there so it's one row and then another row back this row we will skip loop in next loop we will do slip stitch then we will do eight single crochet seven and then I will do eight and then I will do my increase and do 
0 is to 0 and then the returning row. So our next row would be uh, skip this loop, put slip stitch on this one, make a seven single crochet, then put increase. So do always through this side, uh, the same reverse pattern on the other orange stitch marker, then returning back with our reverse row. I hope you hear it, these birds, they're so cute. And yeah, see you there again on our next couple of rows. The pattern for the next couple of rows would be uh, the same as previously. We will skip this loop and this we will do a uh, slip stitch, then uh, let's say some amount of single crochet, then one increase. So do the same all the way through. Uh, reverse pattern on the other side, then return back with our like reverse row of our with our reverse increases, and the next row would be like um, reducing or decreasing the numbers. So right now I have already done uh, six single crochet in the middle, and uh, at this point it would be fifth. Then it would be um, sorry six. In the middle the next row right now i will do um five single crochet in the middle between slip stitch and between increase the next would be four three two and one and yeah it's the pattern so right now it would be that row where i have done six single crochet in the middle already the row with fifth single crochet in the middle done. Four single crochet in the middle done. Three single crochet in the middle done. Row with two single crochet in the middle done. One single crochet in the middle done. I intend to. Oh, where is the yarn? <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, I skip this loop and putting my slip stitch on the next one so slip stitch down and then I continue doing single crochet all the way through until my like yellow part <laughs> where yellow stitch marker was so and at this point I just go in from one end to another one and doing just a slip stitch on the each end each time not only in the beginning of the row also in the end so i intend to do 10 of these rows actually the first row of like of this group already done as i have just now like right now showed and here i have started the second one so after I finish the second one, eight more rows are like still I intend to do to receive the same end as I have here. So just ten more rows. Both part of our side of the back is done. So we finish the row with just slip stitch and without increasing or decreasing. And here it's how it will look like. And actually the last row will be like not on the same level and it's okay. Uh, how to hide the yarn? Actually, I intend to make like couple knots because thread quite like easy to get out. Just to prevent this happen, I make couple knots. Then trying to hide it inside our crochet somehow. And yeah, we no longer needed this end. And here's our result. Both side look the same. And now we intend to do something in the middle to make it 
not that small <laughs> but to put something inside we need to put something here where it would be our base so cute let's make our handle and we will start with the basic chain actually i will put 10 loops in a chain Then it's done. Then we turn our crochet this side. We skip this loop. I take this loop and do a single crochet, like regular one, not what we used to. We would be there, but and I will do the normal single crochet, nine of them for our second row so nine single crochet done and then we again turn our crochet uh, in the end we will make in one loop to put our like hook here in this loop and we will continue doing like not regular single crochet and we might do nine of them Then we will make one loop, turn the crochet, skip this loop and put our like double crochet, single crochet. Want to show you the middle of the process. Here's how a handle look like actually. Yeah due to our back have a little narrow this part of the size we can't do it more wider as our like base um like this it would be look a little bit odd that's why we intend to do some kind of triangle to put it here instead of this like wide and make it a little bit narrow grab these tools and the loop from a previous row and attach our yarn just take a loop and take in the next loop through so um then we will put at the same place and making our single crochet we have done our uh, first row let's say it's attaching row uh, then as usual uh, we will do one loop on the beginning of our next row and now we intend to do increase on both sides uh, and this increase we will do in two rows let's begin with first row for our increase so we turn our crochet and then um we put our like Take our loop from our current row, actually, and then take loop from a previous row. Oh. As well, it's a little bit tricky because we're just attaching. You see, so, and it would be here, but we don't do a single crochet because it would be our increase, decrease. Sorry, decrease. Um, take a loop from our current row, take a loop from our previous row. So now we have like three loops on our hook or six because we do in two threads and two 
decrease we just grab the yarn and take it through three of them so increase here done then we continue making uh, actually just to check on first of them I receive nine right now we do one increase and another increase on another side would be and as a result we might receive seven loop so our first loop done then we will do our five loops our first row of decrease done we doing one loop turning our crochet now on our second row we have just uh, seven loops and our second decrease row will look like this um, we take a loop first loop from this row and take in this place you see it's not this one it's one nine this one and we took it here and then the take at the same loop but on the previous or not this loop but this one here we are again we have three loops on our hook and I take yarn through all of them so it would be our like seven like the second row of our decreasing here we might do five for regular single crochet let's say do it quickly two three four five let's turn it crochet to make it more visible um as you can see on our current row i have just one loop left and on the previous row i have a couple loops left and we intend to do the same as we did with the previous one decrease like this put at the same loop but grab the previous loop from the previous row and finish our decrease as a result we have seven so the next row like couple of rows of our decrease we're doing a loop turning our crochet or just putting a hook in the first loop so in the one from a previous row right here then in the next loop and in the next loop from the previous row and now we have three loops on our hook and doing decrease then continue making three in the middle one two and three. Oh, sorry my bad three and then we will do in um, taking a loop here and in the next one and doing decrease and we receive five one two three four five in our row let's do our second row of our like 
fifth one decrease let's say uh, again if we do one loop turn into crochet at the same place here I use the same loop but the next one in a previous row not the same here we have three loops on our hook then continue doing three regular so now we at the right place and here we will start attaching our ring we might do one loop and we will do three single crochet as a, as a result so take a loop here put ring inside take a loop there take our yarn through then take a next loop next loop from a previous row so and take a yarn through then take yarn through all of our stitches on the hook so then took the middle stitch and middle stitch there take yarn through oh. and single crochet and then in next two loops we will do our decrease by putting ring inside one to the next one loop I don't see it properly yeah here we are inside our ring and then we might grab this oh yeah take a yarn through both of them we have three loops on the hook and take yarn through all of them At this point instead of like it's possible to make one loop but our yarn just will leave on this side that's why what i have done on a different side mm, i just took yarn like took this loop as an attachment loop no matter what kind of loop it would be and then just make this loop in this way and as a result we will receive that our like yarn right now on the right side of our crochet and we don't no longer need it to always push it through the three and let's continue making our second row of our um three single crochet row
things and two last rows we just decrease and then the second row decrease Having to go yarn yep. one loop and then the last one row. make loop and then as usual i have a lot of option to choose from for our zip i intend to sew in zip before attaching our base for our back it would be easier what we need to do to start sewing actually we need a needle and thread um just cut some amount of thread maybe half a meter would be enough um then take two ends and put in the same back side of the hole oh to the needle here we are and now on one of the end of our thread i have two ends and here i have a loop i make a little smaller and with two um ends and longer where it's our loop and then i put my needle in the like point where i just finish but just through zip without attaching to the back then at the same time without attaching to the back i just returning with a little small step could you see a little small one i left this loop here just hold it for a moment and at this point put my needle inside this loop and take a thread through and now we have attached or start our sewing and after that I will put at the same loop or just a little bit further a little bit and then start sewing so because we have attached and we done our beginning um now i can start doing our attaching to the back and here it is it's how we will sew further the middle of the process showing a little bit closer so um put our needle here identify that we have like one stitch and in one stitch we intend to put if you can see um two seven stitches i have already put one seven stitch here i intend to put the second one like this done then i return in my needle from this side not from this from this side back putting in the same hole from the previous stitch so now to seven stitches on this loop is done then we continue with the next one we do a small 
like step by step each turn so i made a small step here i take the loop from our crocheting part then put in middle and this side oh. one is done then small step attaching to the same loop and then continue at this weight it's this way all way way you need to do way you need to sew the zip just a couple words what we will do when uh, we reach near the end of our thread how to hide it uh, actually let's do a couple like more stitches and then I will show how to hide it um, so one more and after that uh, just make a couple like playing around with needle and yarn trying to make couple knots maybe and here it is it's just taken like returning to the loops we previously done and just going one by one and trying to hide our threads there We have sew our zip top back. It looks like this from this side. Actually, I have shown how to start doing this sewing, how to finish in the middle of the process. So now you see the pattern, and pattern it's like a little triangle which go here and there on both sides. It's a little bit tricky to crochet when we are here because uh, all back is too close to each other and it's much difficult you will understand what i mean when you will do this and this part is more easier that's why i recommend start from um, like one side and attach all of it and then doing another side but starting from this side where zip is closed instead of here because it's a difficult one part how it look like a little bit open actually this is our zip it's open and close yeah done use stitch marker to attach your base to the side part of the back it's how my sewing look like uh, i decide to don't use needle i use hook to do this but i have started from this side and i use needle to attach like uh, the thread here and then start using my hook to do this kind of crocheting and i do all the way through here to this side then i did like inside as well the same pattern inside all, all the way through there and then i go here and right now I intend to show you how to do the like example of it i also want to mention the um, if you can notice this side a little bit rounded and how to do this i also will explain it and all the way through i use stitch marker just to understand that i'm on the right point here we are. there are just a couple stitches left before stitch marker I took this yarn out and
uh, this end our ends we could put inside for now then don't like worry about them to make rounded like kind of this bag um what we will do we will put like take one loop here like we intend to take at this side like loops um, how to say more frequently than here or this loops would be more close than on this part and how it will look like because it's our last row here's the normal loops and it's easy to like identify but also don't worry about this because we will use uh, um, like we will st still serving um, from the inside and here I use the closest loop and this one loop you can see like here all the loops where we can put our hook it's really nice and clear and here I do it a little bit like close like instead of making like this loop this loop this loop this loop I will take this 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 and like at this point it would be three not two at this it would be six nine and so on so on instead of making two loops at the same like all ends I would do three loops instead it will make the back look more rounded Serving is done. It's how back look inside. And it's how we attach this ring for handle. Let's do the handle. I grab a different yarn and I intend to attach it to the ring. I just take a loop and through the slope I will take the ends and this here and through the same loop I will do our like main thread done and first loop is ready and now this end we will hide here and I tend to do five single crochet Five single crochet is done, so this ends it's possible to cut. So then I will do one loop and turn my crochet in a different way. Ta -da. And then do back just normal single crochet. After that I will do one loop and continue other way and it's how our handle will look like. Just finished to crochet the handle, so make sure you try it on the handle and the length is enough because I do a little like, you can see it's small, but actually it's quite stretchy and because uh, the kind of yarn I'm using it's really stretchy and after a couple of times I will wear it it's yeah 
And that's why I also considered all of these points. And after that, uh, decide what lens actually do you need uh, to make exact the same or symmetrical attachment as we have on our beginning of the row um, or oh, one side of our handle. So if we will do a crocheting, it uh, will look a little bit odd and actually not the same. That's why I intend to like cut the yarn probably um, <laughs> how to say maybe two or three four times more than this length we have here and uh, then you can cut yarn at this point somewhere here let's say and then i will sew it instead of crocheting thread in the needle just make sure that this end is shorter than the end which attached to our handle. Um, also, always check that this like position of the handle is look okay, not like this, <laughs> because it's happened to me a couple times. And now I will show you how we will sew this handle to this ring. Just starting with this loop, here we are. I grab the loop we just made and put my needle inside it. Yeah, just to attach. Then I will go again through the ring to the next loop from our row. Grab the slope and then put my needle inside. Here we have reached the end. We can make a couple more stitches in our end loop. <laughs> And then just hide the thread somewhere inside of a crocheting. And then cut it. How to do this kind of chain for our bow? Um, actually, we need to grab just one thread and what we will do, we will do uh, for chain one, two, three, four and then we will put our hook in the first one and make a single crochet through it. Then in the next one Then in the third one, in the fourth one, and always just turning around, grab a loop and make a single crochet. And just continue making this kind of like chain or probably the kind of thread uh, until the length would be enough for you to make a bow. Whenever you decide that length is enough, it's like you really just cut the yarn and that is. And right now I want to show you how to uh, hide actually the yarn inside uh, our like new kind of thread of which we will do our bow. You just put hook inside, as I'm showing right now, uh, inside all this like um, stitches. And uh, so from this side, it will look like this. Here it would be a little bit hidden, and here it wouldn't. 
almost invisible. And here I will grab this yarn and then taking it through all of it. And actually you can or continue hiding inside or just cut it a little bit and then cut it somewhere here. And then bam, done. So in this way I have done two blue ones for our handle for bag and uh, done three particularly for our bag. Let's make a bow. Um, first of all, let's grab rope we have made for it. And actually, it's quite long. Um, what we will do in... Just collect buff like this. Just showing again. Done. And then sewing and I will start from this side leave the end Then making the back sweet. And it is. We're ready to sew it to our back. To sew it invisible, if possible. Um, just don't go through a whole handle, but just taking yarn like this one, it's not visible from a different side, and it's the way we will attach it. At this point we have attached our bow and on a different side, as you see, there are no blue threads and I can take my needle out and make a couple knots of these ends After doing so, I intend to hide these ends inside my bow use the hook and just like this Then cut them. And we're ready to go. To show the whole picture of the back with bowl. And it's on one side, on another side. Don't visible how we have attached and the same for this one cute guys i use it only for one side because another one would be close to the body and as you can see there are now white threads here and it is 
is it is